So, um, can I have your full name? Bradford Trojan. And where are we today? We're in the Tucson Herb Store Clinic. Clinic. Tucson, Arizona. And you are part owner, work here, practitioner? Yeah, I've worked here for many years. I guess when Amanda started the business back in 2003. I came in about a year after and started working part-time and then when she went to school for acupuncture uh, I started kind of help, helping out a little more with managing and for like four or five years and then just just left this past August for pursuing my own practice and work. And what what are your practices? My practices are cranial sacral therapy with a biodynamic slant and somatic experiencing. And I have a private practice, and I also work up, I worked the past year up at Sierra Tucson, which is a treatment facility up in Oro Valley. What type of treatment facility? For trauma, and eating disorder, alcohol, drug, uh, focusing mainly on trauma. And so there's a large contingent of somatic experiencing therapists up there, and uh, they're all up there just doing that work, you know. And it's, a, it's an inpatient, so it's around like a 45 day stay. So. So that leads me to two different questions, because that's very interesting information. One, um, is somatic experiencing kind of specific for trauma? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's a bodily-based trauma therapy that is predominantly used for trauma. And uh, in the recovery uh, center, do they look at addiction as a trauma? Yeah. Can you yeah. speak to that a little bit? Yeah, they do. You know, they'll have these um, they'll have these programs and tracks where they'll treat addiction and alcohol and eating disorder, and they'll really know from their experience that it is all stemming from some form of trauma or another. So that the people that are there are getting treated for trauma, you know, and also there's addiction. So they're they're really integrating all those those modalities together, but having more of that trauma, you know, infer, being more trauma informed, they start to bring that into their treatment plans more. Tell me a little bit about your training in somatic experiencing and cranial sacral. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'll even jump back a little further because I started, maybe just my story from sure. what happened, you know. Um, when I moved to town here 12 years ago, I was really uh, involved more heavily with musical theater and performing acting and started to find interest in you know natural medicine natural healing modalities uh, herbal remedies you know, organic lifestyle and uh, started working at different herb stores and then this herb store and then began becoming interested in yoga and meditation and then studied with a Tibetan Buddhist group for five years and continue to study with a different group but uh, and then from there, the yoga really became a part, you know, integral part of that. And so I went and did a yoga teacher training and was taught for many years in town. Uh, while I was doing the yoga teacher training, I started finding that oh, I really want to work one-on-one -on -one with people because it's, you know, a big room with a large group. It's really hard to connect with just what this one person needs, you know. Um, there's so many different body types and different constitutional requirements that they need, you know, and also these different patterns I'm noticing in their bodies, you know, like why are they holding their bodies in certain ways and can they, you know, how can we, how can one yoga class really do all that? Not that yoga is not awesome and really powerful. Uh, so I started doing a cranial sacral therapy training with a naturopath in town and just loved it and also from my own experience, you know, having cranial sacral therapy, it's like I really want to know how to do this because I'm just was so awesome, you know, the way that I felt from getting sessions. Can you speak to a little bit about yeah. how you felt after a session? It was like, um, I mean, a deep sense of calm and also, you know, if there was pain from something or just feeling off, it just seemed like it really allowed things to come back together on their own, you know, with minimal efforting, you know, and just having support from the practitioner. So going into the cranial psychotherapy training was just really wonderful and starting to practice there about five years ago. And then for my own self, there was just all this stuff like having anxiety attacks um, that 
kind of started back when I went to college and, you know, happened a little, went away, came back, and it was, uh, go to talk therapy and start doing that. Goes away for a little bit, then it comes back. And then there's this one bout that just started really, it wasn't going away, you know, it's like I didn't know what to do. And a friend of mine who was a therapist in town who had just completed the somatic experiencing training, um, gave me a referral for somebody, you know, a, a therapist in town. I went to see him and within a few sessions it was like, oh, there's no more anxiety, this is, it's gone, you know, what's going on? So I was going to see him for a few months and then it was like, wow, this is, this is amazing. I don't really even understand what's happening. <laughs> like, what are we doing? You know, it didn't seem like a lot was even happening. And uh, so then a training was starting and I just was like, I have to do this. I got to go to do this training, you know, which is about a three year training. You meet every few months, you do four day modules and then some six day modules, your own session work, consultations, um, and you know, a lot of reading and just living it and practicing it. And uh, so from there it was like, wow, things have dramatically shifted and you know, a culmination of all these things that I've been doing. And then that was really the, the linchpin, you know, it felt like this just held all the other things that I was doing and created this new way of of utilizing and incorporating all of them for my own practice and, and also my own healing.